what's up guys welcome back to one life today you join me in front of the Vauxhall Corsa C for another tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to remove and replace the clutch master cylinder it's a topic that's not well covered at all so I thought I'd stick a full tutorial up to help you along when you're doing it first thing first you've got to get the bonnet open as you can see behind me I've already done that there's a lever on the driver's side just below the steering wheel for that if you don't already know we're going to be working under the bonnet and in the driver's footwell right guys you join me under the bonnet first so the first thing we want to do is pop up the two little plastic covers on each windscreen wiper you can use your fingers or a little flat screwdriver and that will reveal a i think it's a 13 or a 14 mil but i'll confirm that in a second and on the other one same again just popped up my fingers that time undo both of them and we're gonna persuade take a bit of wiggling to get off get both windscreen wipers off which will leave this plastic cowling free to pull off we need to get that off and out of the way so we can get to the back of the master cylinder to disconnect both hydraulic pipes right so as you can see we've got both windscreen wipers off the down here was an 8 mil bolt in there i've took that out already the spanner does get to it but socket's a lot easier there's a torx bit in there that's a t25 torx bit and another 10 mil bolt on this side and this rubber here that runs along all the way along there you want to pull that off as well to loosen it all another thing i didn't mention guys is this cover here once you sort of pull the rubber off the edge you pull this cover up and it exposes the battery wires they get in your way so you want to get these out of the way before you even try and pull the plastic up i think we'll get away with just taking this side off so you gotta pull down on it and up and it will just all pull off obviously once that torx breaks out you've got the hose on the back here clipped in for the uh, washer jets you can disconnect it there but there's also a link further down i think the idea is you can disconnect it before you take the cover off if you want to or just leave it hanging like that if you take it off this clip here it's not as much in the way right so the pipes both of them go into the back of the master cylinder right through this gap here you can get your hand in comfortably i'm going to get a light on it and show you properly in a second you can take the rest of the plastic off if you want but it's sort of it's here where you want to be so it's a waste of time really it's not doing any harm there it's still awkward to get to either way if you're really really bothered by it you can take the windscreen wiper motor off first for a lot better access right guys as you can see here i'm pointing right at the back of the master cylinder so we've got two pipes going into the back of it we've got this gray one here you see there just connect straight in at the top you can disconnect the gray one there at this end just by pulling it out it's safe because it's the return pipe you can literally just work it loose you might get a bit of excess fluid but don't worry about that and if i can get my camera to focus underneath this gray pipe there is another pipe which comes through further down see that pipe there that that one going horizontally that's the one that goes through this bit of metal here and into the back of the master cylinder just below the light grey pipe that's got a little circle up on it so you just get a flat screwdriver in there and pop it off you can get your hand in to work but i can't get a hand in and film without taking all this off now this is unnecessary you could to get more speed but you don't need to and it creates a lot more work so like i say grey pipe pop it off at the top the pipe underneath that get your flat screwdriver in and pop it out it's just being covered up by this one here yeah, i could just maybe move that it's hard to see on the camera but it is there just below that grey one pop the circle off pull it out and that's it everything's disconnected on this side of the car so shame off to do all this just to get to that bit you need to disconnect it before you pull it through because as much as this pipe's got slack on it the other one's a solid metal proper pipe so it won't pull through so you need to disconnect them first but once you've done that it's just a case of getting back in the cab where the pedals are and undoing the two what i think are 13 mil bolts to pull the master cylinder out uh, we'll have a look at that now i'll just remind you what bolts they are and which ones some do and what size they are but other than that you're nearly there for getting it back out when you put the new one back in it's just a case of connecting these pipes back up after you've bolted it up and putting all this plastic stuff back together 
If you want to show on exactly how to put the plastics back together, there's another video I've done, uh, the Vauxhall Corsa, how to remove and replace the windscreen wiper motor. That covers it in a bit more detail, this plastic bit up here. But other than that, that's it for this side. I'll get in the cab now and show you what you need to do to finish the job. All right, guys, join me back inside the footwell, just behind the clutch pedal now I am. So that's the master cylinder itself, that black bit there this bit here and that's the lever there going into your clutch pedal as you can see so if just sort of get it round here you can see it where the rod goes into your clutch pedal you've got a white plastic clip this clip squeezes in like so to pull that out of the back of the pedal it's just a white plastic clip you just squeeze it in you might have to get a set of pliers on it and just give it a good tug out obviously after you've undone these two bolts they are 213 mil. I'll get a socket on them, undo, I'll get a better view for you, undo those two bolts. Work that plastic clip free, it's a bit fiddly, but sometimes it'll help if you move, wiggle the master cylinder about a bit while you're doing it. Obviously, we've already disconnected the pipes on the back of this, they're the ones we've just done. Once you undo those two bolts, pull this clip out, you'll be able to work the master cylinder loose. It's a bit fiddly and tight, but you'll get it loose. If it helps, undo that one. There's one back here, just where my finger is there. There we go. So in fact, undo all three of those, which make it nice and loose. So you can pull the thing out. And that's it. So when you get to this point and get this old one out, I'm not taking this out, as there's nothing wrong with it. Just showing you guys how to do it. And you get your new cylinder, get it back into position. This bit up here will just clip back in. You slide the clip straight back into this sort of black bit of the clutch pedal. And you connect these bolts back up. You'll go back under the bonnet and connect up the two pipes. Your main hydraulic pipe on the bottom with the circlip and the sort of plastic flexi pipe on the top. And it's just a case of putting all your trims and stuff back together. And the job is pretty much done. Right guys, that's it for this video. That is how to remove and replace the clutch master cylinder on the Vauxhall Corsa C, as you see in front of you. When you've just done the job, you'll find the pedals really slack. So you just need to start the car and sit there and pump it for a bit, like you would if you've just changed your brake fluid, as it runs off the same system, just to build the pressure back up in the hydraulic fluid. Don't be worried if it feels like it doesn't work. Just give it time, keep pumping the pedal slowly, and it'll start getting tight again, and your clutch will work. Other than that guys, that's it from me today. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more content on this car and others. Check the channel out for that. And until next time, peace.